What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of JY Throws. Today I want to cover the off arm and some things that you can think about during your throw. So last practice, my favorite disc landed on a hammer and it broke. But luckily I had another one coming in the mail. So very excited to use this thing today. Brand new Nishi disc, um, awesome looking pattern. I think it's one of the coolest looking discs out there right now. So this is Daniel Stahl. Last weekend he became the first discus thrower in history to have all six throws over 69.50. And I want to break down some key things in his throw and some things to consider for both shot put and discus, focusing on the off arm today. So the first thing I want to point out is this movement. This is where you can see him set up the discus and his off arm pulling away from each other to be as long as possible. He then manages to hold that position as he wraps up, still maintaining that pull in the opposite directions. And you can see how his off arm and leg are connected together. And this is something super important. You don't want to start your rotation by just pulling your arm because then you lose that pull in the opposite direction and some core tension that you'll see later on. So everything comes through together. And now you can see this position. The important thing to take note of is the position of the hips, which are facing straight. And the upper body, with that maintained long arm stretch, he's now got core wrap. So I wanted to point this position out because it's something that he maintains through the whole throw. So really all he's doing is setting up an amazing position out of the back and then not messing it up by doing a bunch of weird stuff. He just rotates around his leg, holds the same position, gets his foot down, sets up a nice block, and rotates around it. And all the off arm's doing is pulling out of the way a little bit so his hips can come through to the middle. And then when his block foot hits the ground, his off arm's pulling and creating a chest stretch. And he just continues the disc through to the finish. So for shot put, there's a bit more off arm movement and I wanna cover that in a minute. But for now, I wanna show you a couple cues that I find helpful in practice to help me achieve some of the positions out of the back. So the first thing you wanna feel is that reach and your off arm and discus arm be nice and tall and pulling as far away from each other as possible to maximize the radius. And then there's a couple things that are helpful to consider. The first one is thinking about keeping your arm inside of your knee as you rotate out of the back. Like I was mentioning earlier, you don't wanna get carried away and pull too hard with your arm because then you lose all the core tension that you're trying to set up with your wind. So the arm inside the knee is the first cue. The next one is I'm trying to think about reaching nice and long with my off arm outside of the circle. And then I'm trying to think a long sweep leg also sending that outside of the circle so that it pulls my hips around and I can maintain that wrap going to the middle. And now I don't do it as well as Stahl and that's why I want to use him as an example to show some of the positions. But I also want to show you guys some things that I think about in practice. After those main cues out of the back, I don't need to think much about my off arm except for trying to keep it level throughout the whole throw. And then on the finish, trying to pull it nice and straight and getting a chest stretch straight and not letting it get ahead too far too early because then I end up pulling off of the finish. So now I wanna cover the off arm for shot put. So this one's interesting to me because it almost looks like he's throwing his arm and doing a big rewrap. But the more I look at it, it looks like he's just leaving the arm where it is pretty much and letting the lower body continue to work around him. And that slight pause while his lower body continues to work allows him to catch everything back up, find that separation again, and then snap everything through on the finish. So although in Ryan's throw, it looks like he's swinging his arm and moving it a lot, he's really just opening it up, leaving it there with a bit of a rewrap, and everything else continues to work. But that slight delay lets the lower body come through, create the core separation that pulls everything through into the throwing direction. And every throw is different, but the fundamentals of what you do with your off arm will remain pretty similar. And it's not a super important thing to think about, but knowing what it's doing, when and why can help you find better balance, timing, and distances in your throw. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. That was an interesting day, feeling uncomfortable in the rain because it was slippery. And normally it's not a problem, but something about these shoes, I've never thrown with them in the rain and I really didn't like the feeling of them. So I might try to get another pair of Nike, see if I'm more comfortable in those if the rain's slippery. But hopefully I cleared some things up and gave you some stuff to think about for your off arm. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, and if you really enjoyed it, subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next one.